Three words that come to mind when I watch Jaime Jaquez Jr. are skilled, tough, and relentless. He's just the perfect player for the Miami Heat. It's funny because at the NBA Draft Combine in Chicago, which took place a little over a month before the draft, he mentioned Jimmy Butler as a player he models his game after. Jaquez is a jack-of-all-trades player who's been showcasing his range of talent in the early portion of his rookie campaign. Just reviewing what he's been able to do offensively, it's been a little bit of everything. But I think the three things that are most striking are his footwork on drives, his sneakiness eluding defenders off the ball, and his soft touch, which enables him to make shots from a variety of angles. It's quite amazing because he's undersized for someone who's as effective near the basket as he is, and he lacks speed and explosiveness, but he finds ways to get where he needs to go, and he uses his blend of craftiness and strength to score inside. So far, he's made 30 of his 52 shots on drives, according to second spectrum tracking data. Sometimes you'll see him use a nifty spin move to evade defenders, which you can see in these clips. He also has an excellent shot fake, which defenders often bite on, shown here. He's made 12 of his 17 shots off cuts. He's just really good at catching defenders napping, and he's constantly in motion. The Heat are tied for fourth in shots taken off cuts, with 8.4 of them per contest. Something else you'll see quite a bit from Jaquez is him operating out of the post. There's an old school vibe to his game. He'll turn some drives into post ups and he seems to generally like working on the left side of the floor. He's taken 11 shots off post ups so far and made six of them. Maybe the biggest surprise is that he's shooting 39.3% from three point range on a shade over three attempts per game. In his junior year at UCLA, He shot just 27.6% from beyond the arc, and in his senior year, he shot 31.7% with 180 attempts in those two years combined. He's made 16 of his 43 stationary catch and shoot threes so far in the NBA, which is about 37%. He's also made a few relocation three-pointers, including this one in transition, and this one with Josh Richardson setting the screen. He's effective in transition as well, as you can see in these clips. Even though Miami is not much of a running team, they play at one of the slower paces in the league, but they do score a lot of their points off opponent turnovers. The things we're not seeing yet, if we ever will, are him operating in pick and rolls and in isolation. I don't really see much playmaking in his game either. I feel like a lot of his action is more scattered and off broken plays or when a mismatch is identified. He doesn't draw many fouls either. He's a pretty good defender. You can't play for Miami and not be at least adequate on that end. But things that stand out are how committed he is to contesting perimeter shots. He leads the Heat in contesting threes. He also deflects a lot of passes, currently leading Miami in that category as well. Per usual, the Heat play zone defense more than any other team by a pretty big margin. Just some general stats, through 20 games, Jaquez is averaging 12 points, 3.9 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 
and 1.1 steals, shooting 52.5% from the field and 39.3% from three-point range. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.